opening time today is gonna be a great day. Okay, give me all your money. Now, I have a gun. At Christy, what on earth are you doing? Shut up. Don't make me ask twice. At somebody here, let me. Freeze dirtbag. If you know what is good for you, don't move. You threatening me? You picked the wrong day to be a hero pal. You asked for it. You brought this on yourself. I'm out of here. Oh my good somebody call the police. Trusty he. Trusty just. Trusty just killed him R. Cavill. Alright Phoenix, another day, another client for us to defend. Yeah. Is everything okay Phoenix? Everything is fine, I just didn't think we would be working together again after you getting killed and all that. Oh that? Well Maya really has improved in her training. I'm able to take full control of my spirit and even keep it in a physical form. Speaking of which, I wonder how Maya is doing? Hey, are you all gonna keep chattering to each other or help me with my case? Oh geez, that sounded like our client. What's the big idea? I'm over here being accused of murder and y'all over here lollygagging. Oh, uh, sorry. You must be our client. Client? Client. I have a name you know. You don't even know who I am. Of course I do. You're, uh, Hershey Crust Keys? No, you bozo. That's Herschel Krustovsky to you. Otherwise known by many people, Krusty the Clown. Oh yes, of course. Silly me, how could I forget? I've never heard of this guy. Me neither, but he is our client for this case. Hey I heard that. Jeez, have you all been living under a rock or something? Ugh, just my luck. It's bad enough they accuse me of robbing a store but murder as well. This is just flat out ridiculous. Hey take it easy Mr. Krusty. We are here to help you. Can you maybe tell us what happened? Ugh, I guess, if y'all are really here to help me. I was inside my apartment building sleeping after doing an hour long special on my TV show. But while I was sleeping, a couple of cops came in and they were pointing guns at me. Saying I was under arrest for the murder of some guy I never heard of. Did the police have any reason to accuse you? They said a witness saw me robbing the quick e-mart and I shot a security guard in the chest. Which is absolutely ridiculous. I never even went to that filthy store in the first place. And now here I am being treated like a criminal. I can only imagine how all the little children feel about me right now. I see, we'll do not worry Mr. Krusty, we will find the truth and make you a free clown. You would really do that for me? Of course, they don't call me Phoenix Wright for nothing. I, I, B, thank you. Please get me out of here. I swear I'm innocent. I didn't kill nobody. I'm just a guy trying to make a living. Good lord, he just became a completely different person in a matter of seconds, that's honestly impressive. Phoenix, if our client is really innocent, then it's up to us to prove it. You're right, I just don't know how this is gonna play out. Will the defense and the defendant please enter the courtroom? The trial is about to start. That's our cue, let's do this. Yeah, let's. Court is now in session for the trial of Herschel Krustovsky. The defense is ready, your honor. The prosecution is ready, your honor. Very well. Prosecutor Payne, your opening statement, if you please. Gladly, your honor. Mr. Krustovsky or most people know him as Krusty the Clown is accused of murdering a security guard by the name of Ben Cavalt. I have evidence proving that the defendant is responsible of taking Mr. Cavalt's life. First we have the murder weapon, a pistol. Then we have the bullet that was found in Mr. Cavalt's chest. And finally, we have a photograph of the crime scene. Hmm, I see. The court accepts it into evidence. Alright Phoenix, let's make sure to look through the court record. We know Krusty is innocent but we have to prove it. You got it boss. Pain is going down. Now prosecutor Payne, please call your first witness. Hehehe, he. prepare yourself Mr. Wright. This time I shall surely win this case. The prosecution calls Mr. Apunehasati Makatilan good god that is a mouthful to the stand. Witness, your name and occupation if you please. Of course my name is Apunehasati Makatilan or just Apu for short and I am the owner of a local convenience store known as the Quat e -Murt. And Mr. Apu, you witnessed the moment of the crime, did you not? Oh yes I did what a horrible thing I had to witness. 
to think someone as famous as Krusty the Clown could resort to do such a horrible thing. As you can see your honor, my witness is very decisive and has testimony that will definitely prove the defendant guilty. Very well, Mr. Apu, please give us your testimony on what you witnessed during the time of the murder. Yes, your honor, it would be my pleasure. I was opening my starret around the name which is my usual time to open. Then 15 minutes later the defendant came in with a weird mask on his face and was holding a gun. I was absolutely terrified and I had under the counter. Then I heard the victim then cavalt running in and pointing a gun at the defendant. I heard two gunshots being fired and the defendant running out of the star. When I came out of hiding I saw him are then cavalt laying on the floor dead. As you can see your honor, there is no room for debate. Mr. Apu witnessed the defendant shooting the victim with the pistol and fleeing the crime scene. Hum, I see. Well Mr. Phoenix Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Here we go Phoenix, we are about to cross-examine Mr. Apu's testimony. I am ready, there were some points in his testimony that I questioned. Then let's press this witness and find the contradiction. I was opening my starret around the name which is my usual time to open. HOLD IT! Did you notice anything while you were opening up shot? Nothing out of the ordinary at first but then 15 minutes later Krusty came in to my starret. And then what happened? Then 15 minutes later the defendant came in with a weird mask on his face and was holding a gun. HOLD IT! Can you describe the mask he was wearing? Well he had sunglasses covering his eyes and his face was all white with red lips. Is that so? How could you tell it was really crusty? Objection. The witness clearly stated that he saw Krusty the Clown robbing the store. I highly doubt anyone could mistake a clown of all people for someone else. Hum, I see. Mr. Apu, tell us what happened when the defendant pulled out his gun. I was absolutely terrified and I had under the counter. Hold it! You were hiding under the counter? Yes, that is what I just said. So if you were really hiding under the counter, did you really witness crime? I am. Objection. Just because the witness was hiding, doesn't mean he heard what was going on. Hum, the prosecution has a good point. Mr. Apu, while you were hiding, what did you hear? Then I heard the victim then cavalt running in and pointing a gun and the defendant. Hold it! Who exactly was this Ben Cavalt person you keep talking about? Ben Cavalt was a security guard I hired a couple months ago. And why did you feel like you needed to hire a bodyguard? I think it obvious crime rates have been getting so bad lately I feared that my star could end as a third but for robbery. And yet Mr. Cavalt was killed and your store was robbed. Well wait a minute that's not. Objection. Mr. Wright, the reason the witness hired a bodyguard has nothing to do with this case. Hum, indeed. Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. Now Mr. Apu, what happened between the defendant and the victim? I heard two gunsets being fired and the defendant running out of the star. Hold it! You heard two gunshots? Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I am sure I know what I heard. Wait a minute, Phoenix. This could be the contradiction you are looking for. You're right, I need to check the court record. Bingo, this is it. Alright, time to present the contradiction. Objection! How was it something I said? So you heard two gunshots, is that correct? 
How many times do I have to tell you yes I heard the defendant fire two shots at M.R. Kagelt? Guess hiding under the counter didn't do you much of a favor? What what are you on about? Mr. Aku, the record shows that the murder weapon was found inside the dumpster, and according to the file, only one shot was fired. Haha, <laughs> we is that possible? Mr. Aku, did you really pay attention to what happened? I am of course I am. Your Honor, Mr. Aku's testimony contradicts the evidence. No wait, I know what I heard. Are you calling me a liar? Objection. What does it matter if the witness heard one or two shots? That doesn't mean anything. Um. Objection! The witness is convinced he heard two shots, yet a second bullet hole was nowhere to be found in the crime scene. Well Mr. Aku, how do you explain yourself? No less than her attorney. I am not gonna stand her and listen to you call me liar. I swear I heard two gunsets from the defendant. Hehehe, <laughs> I will say, you had me for a second, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What is the meaning of this Mr. Payne? I know the reason why Mr. Apu heard two gunshots. Oh really? To tell. When the police checked Mr. Cavalt's body, he had a gun strap on him. A gun strap? So you mean the victim was also armed with a gun? That is correct your honor. That is why Mr. Apu heard two gunshots during the crime. Hmm, I see and where is this gun now? I have the gun right here your honor. The prosecution would like to add this gun into evidence. Very well, the court accepts Mr. Cavalt's gun info evidence. This is bad chief. I thought we were onto something and the prosecution comes back to throw it back in our faces. There is no need to panic Phoenix. There is still a contradiction in the testimony. Wait there is. Think about it Phoenix. Two guns were fired during the time of the crime. One bullet was found in Mr. Cavalt's body. But that leaves us with another question. Where did the second bullet go? That's right Phoenix. If we can solve that, then it can maybe shed some light on this case. I believe we've heard enough testimony. Mr. Apu, you may step down from the stand. Oh thank goodness my legs were getting tired. Hehehehe. <laughs> Finally, I'm going to win against Phoenix Wright. There is no room for doubt that the defendant is the cull. Objection. Objection! The defense would like Mr. Apu to testify about what happened after the culprit fled the scene. W what what happened after the culprit fled? Why would you want me to testify about that? Just tell us what happened and you will find out. Objection. Your Honor, the defense is clearly just badgering the witness. This is all just baseless conjecture. Hmm, actually, I'm rather curious about what happened after the culprit fled the scene. I shall grant the defense permission to question Mr. Apu about what happened after the murder. No 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 no, I was gonna finally win. Prosecutor Payne, you will refrain from having an unnecessary outburst in my courtroom. Mr. Apu, please testify about what happened after the culprit fled the scene. After Krusty fled the scene, I got to find M.R. Kavalt dead. Kavalt had his pistol in his hand after he fired his bullet. Now that I think about it, there was a blood trail that led towards the exit. M.R. Kavalt must shot the culprit before he died. Yes, now I remember. At all makes sense now. Hum, so the defendant was shot during the struggle. It makes sense. Prosecutor Payne, do you still have a photograph of the crime? Um, yes your honor, I have it right here. Good, the court accepts it into evidence. Now then Mr. Phoenix Wright, you may cross-examine the witness's testimony. Yes your honor. After Krusty fled the scene, I got to find M.R. Kavalt dead. Hold it! Did you notice anything else beside the victim's body? Not necessarily, I was settled pretty sucky about the whole thing that transpired. Well could you tell us anything you noticed about Mr. Kavalt's body? Kavalt had his pistol in his hand after he fired the bullet in his hand. Hold it! 
Why didn't you mention this in your last testimony? Well, excuse me, an R attorney, I was not thinking straight at the time. I just said I am still feeling a little sucky about the whole thing. I see. Well, could you tell us if there was anything else you noticed? Now that I think about it, there was a blood trail that led towards the exit. Hold Over. it! A blood trail towards the exit? Yes, I am certain of it. M.R. Cavalt must have shot the defendant before he died. Phoenix, you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, I need to take another look at that piece of evidence. Objection! What on earth are you yelling at me for this time? Mr. Aku, I would like you to take a look at this photograph. What is this supposed to be? This is a photograph of the murder, and by looking at it, you can tell something is missing. Missing? What are you on about? I don't see anything me. A W what on earth? You see it now, don't you Aku? According to this photo, there is no blood trail located near the exit. I am possible. So Mr. Aku, where did you see a blood trail? The age fear has to be some mistake. Objection. Your Honor, this is just the defense getting desperate. Objection denied. Mr. Aku, explain yourself at once. No, there has to be some mistake, I. Mr. Aku, you lead to the court. If you have something to hide, you better tell us right now. Eat, eat, eats not what eat. Seems. At my cupons. Oh sweet. A coupon for a free slushy. Oh wow. I just caught one for a free turkey sandwich. I got one for a hot dog. Wow. These coupons are just flying everywhere. Everyone, everyone please. I swear to you all I'm not laying I got nothing to hide I know what I saw. I find that very hard to believe Mr. Apu. Mr. Wright. Yes, your honor. Do you believe Mr. Apu is lying? Or is there an explanation for his claim? That is a very good question. This could be a phoenix. We might actually get a break on this case. But chief, what does it all mean? Why would Apu lie in his testimony? Can we really say he is lying? What do you mean? I'm saying what if Aku saw something else? Something that made it look like what he claimed he saw? I, I have no idea. You need to think outside the box, Phoenix. Mr. Wright, is there an explanation for Mr. Apu's contradiction? Why was there no blood near the exit of the store? There are three possibilities I can say. What should I say? All right, I got it. I know what to pick. Your Honor, I know why there was no blood trail towards the exit. Then tell us Mr. Wright, why was there no blood trail towards the exit? A bulletproof vest, Your Honor. A bulletproof vest? Yes, Your Honor, the culprit wore a bulletproof vest. Not only does it explain why there was no blood trail towards the exit, but there was no mention of the culprit getting injured. But what about Apu's testimony? Aku must have been freaking out and mistook the victim's blood as someone else's. Hum, that could be a possibility. Mr. Payne, what is your opinion on this claim? All I can say is, I am impressed. What do you mean Mr. Payne? I mean everything the defense said was spot on. The murder weapon was not the only thing we found in the dumpster. There was also a bulletproof vest that has the missing bullet stuck inside it. W1, Mr. Payne, why on earth did you not mention this in your opening statement? I didn't think it was all that important at first, but the attorney here has shed some light on this case. Hmm, interesting. The court accepts the bulletproof vest into evidence. Now I have a favor to ask the defense. Is there something you notice about the vest? Phoenix, I don't like where this is going. Me neither, but I need to examine it. Ah. What is it, Phoenix? Hehehehe, <laughs> looks like the defense noticed. Noticed what exactly? As you can see, Your Honor, this vest right here belongs to none other than the defendant himself, Herschel Krastovsky. Order, order in the court. Mr. Wright, is this true? Does this vest really belong to the defendant? I hate to admit it, Your Honor, but it's true. The logo on the vest belongs to Krusty Enterprises. Krusty Enterprises? Why that company is owned by none other than Mr. Krusty himself. 
But wait, why would his company be making bulletproof vests? I don't have an answer for that, your honor. Hmm, this is very strange indeed. A clown wearing a bulletproof vest, that is definitely a first. How could the defendant be wearing something like this and why? Um, actually, I may have an explanation for it. What the? Who on earth said that? T.A. Ada, talk about a surprise entrance. What the? Who the heck is this guy? Haha, <laughs> did I spook you all? Sorry about that. I just wasn't sure how I wanted to appear in court. I hear it's quite a party in here. Order, order, order. State your name and occupation. How did you get in this courtroom? Oh yes, yes. Where are my manners? My name is Robert Elijah Jr. or as most people would know me as, the silent sidekick of Krusty the Clown. Sideshow Dog. The silent sidekick of the defendant? I've seen you on Krusty's show multiple times with my grandchildren. They're a huge fan. Ha 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 ha. Why thank you your honor. I appreciate the gesture. Ahem. Now, what brings you to my courtroom Mr. Bob? Oh yes. That. I heard that my partner was being accused of murder and I just had to see for myself. Are you here to defend him? As much as I would like to, I hate to lie in court. What is that supposed to mean? I came to say that I witnessed the crime. W what? It really pains me to say it, but I saw the crime from afar and I would like to testify. I must say Mr. Bob, this is definitely a shock, but if what you say is true, the court shall hear your testimony. Alright, the court shall have a 10 minute recess. We shall let the prosecution and defense prepare for this new life. Mr. Krusty, what is going on here? What do you mean what's going on? I should be asking you that. It was strange enough that your company label was found on a bulletproof vest, but now your sidekick comes out of nowhere and is gonna testify against you. I, I don't understand. Why would Sideshow Bob do this to me? I thought he had my back. Well look, I don't know anything about you or that Bob guy, but something fishy is definitely going on here. What do you mean by that? Wait, you don't think. Could Sideshow Bob? Yeah, you are thinking the same thing I am thinking. Sideshow Bob might have something to do with Ben Cavalt's murder. But, but why though? He didn't even know that guy. At least I don't think. Well if Sideshow Bob really is the true culprit, I will just have to prove it. Sai, I really don't like where this is going. Phoenix, I need to talk to you. What is it Chief? I'm sorry to tell you this, but I won't be able to help you in this case. What? Why not? Maya's powers are weakening. She's been doing it for too long that she needs to rest. I will have to go back to the spirit world at least until Maya replenishes her power. Well then what am I supposed to do? Hey, you will figure it out. You are Phoenix right, Ace Attorney, and that will never change. I suppose you are right. We made it so far, I can't give up now. I'll be watching over you. Hopefully I'll return once the trial is over. Good luck Phoenix. Uh, did I just see a woman disappear? Don't worry about that. Let's just worry about getting your acquittal. Will the defense and the defendant please enter the courtroom? Looks like it's time. Let's do this. Oh boy, here we go. Court is back in session for the trial of Herschel Krustovsky. The prosecution is ready, your honor. The defense is ready, your honor. Hum, very well. Mr. Payne, please call the surprise witness to the stand. You got this, Phoenix. Hello again. Witness, name and occupation for the court. You already know who I am, but for the court's sake, Sideshow Bob is the name, and for occupation, you can call me a future artist. Now Mr. Bob, you claimed that you witnessed Krusty the Clown not only robbing the Quick E Mark but also murdering Ben Caval? Yes, your honor. I saw the whole thing and if I am being completely honest, I had a strange feeling Krusty would do something like this. You had a feeling? Why? Well this is interesting. Please explain in your testimony. It will be my pleasure your honor. Get ready boys and girls. Uncle Bob has got a story to tell you all. I witnessed the murder at around 10.15 am. It was a little hard to see but I saw Krusty holding a pistol. Not long after, a security guard ran in and opened fire on Krusty. Krusty then returned fire and shot the security guard clean in the head. I will say Krusty got lucky, since he stole my bulletproof vest and face makeup. Wait a minute, did you just say your bulletproof vest? Yes I did. I knew Krusty was up to something since he stole both my vest and my clown makeup. Clown makeup huh? Mr. Apu testified that Krusty was wearing sunglasses and his face was white with red lips. Do you have the clown makeup with you Mr. Bob? Why yes I do your honor. 
Very well, the court accepts it into evidence. Now Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, if you please. I witnessed the murder at around 10.15 a.m. Hold, Hold it. it! Where exactly did you witness this murder? I was at the bank which was across from the quick e mart. And what exactly were you doing there? Depositing my weekly check of course. Got to earn my money. I see, what else did you witness? It was a little hard to see, but I saw Krusty holding a pistol. Hold, Hold it. it! Did you really see holding a pistol? Objection. Mr. Wright, at this point, it is blatantly obvious that the defendant was holding a pistol during the crime. He was using it to rob the quick Imarath. Hmm. And then what happened next, Mr. Bob? Not long after, a security guard ran in and opened fire on Krusty. Hold, Hold it. it! So the victim was the one who fired the gun first? Yes, it was. At first they got into a scuffle and Krusty pushed the guard away. Then the guard pulled out his gun and opened fire. You sure did witness a lot of what happened during that time. Well I've known Krusty for quite some time. He always was such the daredevil. So what happened after the victim opened fire? Krusty then returned fire and shot the security guard clean in the forehead. Hold, Hold it. it! Are you absolutely sure? I told you already. I witnessed the whole thing. From start to finish. I better have a look at the court record. Objection! My my, your voice sounded so loud and fierce. That's pretty impressive. Flattery will get you nowhere Mr. Bob. There is something I want to ask you. You said you saw the whole thing, did you not? I saw the whole thing. I'm positive about it. And I am pretty positive that you are lying. Me? Lie in court? Mr. Attorney, I already told you. I don't like lying. Then you probably wouldn't like that statement you just made. Please take a look at this autopsy report. Huh? What about it? You claimed that you saw Krusty shoot the victim clean in the forehead, but the report tells a different. The victim was shot. Huh? I am the chest. If you really claimed that you saw everything from start to finish, how exactly could you mistake THR victim's head or chest? Well, um, I can explain. Objection. The witness made a simple mistake. It doesn't change anything. Objection! Objection! But the witness stated that he clearly saw the defendant shoot the victim in the forehead. But the autopsy clearly shows that the victim was shot in the chest. Well um, I... This simple contradiction shows one thing. Mr. Bob did not witness the whole thing and is hiding something from this court. Oof wins. Order, order, order. I will have have order. Witness, how do you explain yourself? Well um, you see, it's kind of a funny story really. Ehehe, <laughs> maybe I didn't see the entire thing. What 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 what? So Mr. Bob, you lied to this court. I wouldn't really say that. I have a good reason, really. It better be a good reason MR Bob. I will not have false testimony in my courtroom. I won't let you down this time your honor. While the victim and Krusty were having a shootout, I went to go call the police. While I was on the phone, I saw Krusty limping away from the crime scene. He threw away the gun and my precious bulletproof vest in the dumpster. Not long after the call, the police came to me and I told them where Krusty was. So as you can see, I didn't pay attention because I was too busy calling the police. Hum, so Mr. Bob was the one who called the police. Yes your honor, I even have a record that Mr. Bob used his cell phone to call the police. Very well, the court accepts it into evidence. Now Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. While the victim and Krusty were having a shootout, I went to go call the police. Hold, Hold it. it! You called the police the very moment the crime took place? Do you take me for a fool? Of course I did. What's that look for? Nothing Mr. Bob. Please continue with your testimony. While I was on the phone, I saw Krusty limping away from the crime scene. Hold, Hold it. it! You saw Krusty limping away? Why yes I did. Good thing he was wearing a bulletproof vest. He would have been dead as well. Interesting how you know about that. Well it was my vest in the first place. So of course I would know. Speaking of which. He threw away the gun and my precious bulletproof vest in the dumpster. Hold, Hold it. it! Your precious bulletproof vest? 
I would always wear it when me and Krusty did our show together. Aren't bulletproof vests kinda heavy? They are, but they protect me from Krusty's crazy ideas. There was even a time he used a real gun during an action sequence. That must have been terrifying. Oh, it was. Thank God for bulletproof vests. Anyway, we are getting off topic. Continue with your testimony. Not long after the call, the police came to me and I told them where Krusty was. Hold, Hold it. it! So you ratted your own partner out? Krusty made his own choice. He wanted to become a criminal. So I did him a favor and have everyone treat him like one. Isn't that kinda harsh? Hey, it's not my fault that he stole my stuff and went to go rob the quickie mart. So as you can see, I didn't pay attention to the whole thing, because I was calling the police. Hold, Hold it. it! So you were the one that called the police, right? Are you deaf or something? I already told you that I did. I don't see how that isn't clicking with you. I should take a look at that call record. Goodness, that shout was more fierce than the last one. What is on your mind, Mr. Attorney? I just want to confirm one thing. You called the police the very moment the crime was commuted? I've told you multiple times that I have. Why you keep asking me? It's quite simple, Mr. Bob. Take a look at this. What's this? A record that tracks the many people that would call the police. Take a look at the time. 10.37 a.m. So what? Now look at this photograph and you will see what I'm going on about. Uh, oh, oh, no, no, no. That's right, the murder took place at 10.17 a.m. and you called the police at 10.37 a.m. So tell me, Mr. Bob, what were you doing during those missing 20 minutes? Uh, 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 uh. Actually, I think I can piece it together. You didn't witness the crime at all. What? What the hell are you trying to say? I'll tell you what I'm trying to say. The defense accuses Side Shis Bob is the true culprit of this case. What? Well, Objection. Does does the defense have any idea of what they are saying? I must say, I'm quite speechless. This is a very serious accusation, Mr. Wright. Do you have proof that Mr. Bob is the true culprit of this case? Of course the defense doesn't have evidence. He is clearly making this up. As a matter of fact, I do have some evidence that will prove my accusation. HMPH, you think you are all high and mighty? Well, let's hear it. What evidence do you have to suspect me? Take, Take that! Recognize this, Mr. Bob? My makeup cream? I told you that Krusty stole it. That's what you believe, but there is one thing this makeup bottle is missing. Oh yeah? What is that? Fingerprints. Fingerprints? You must be joking. Krusty was wearing gloves. Of course his fingerprints wouldn't be on there. That is true, but your fingerprints are on there. Eh, so what? It's mine anyway. That doesn't prove anything. I'm not talking about on the bottle, but in the inside. What? What does that? Oh no. That's right. You put white makeup on your face to disguise yourself as Krusty and framed him for both the robbery and the murder. Well, Mr. Bob? I'm right, aren't I? GRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRR
I well I am. You see, I was M. I am M P H. G R R R R R R R R R R R R Trust to that stupid Jordan PC off stem fatty off who led me entire life I went head to watch him burn in whole life and let that stupid Jordan didn't judge him way Christian old burn burn Jeveh him beat he's duly not guilty 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 G U I L T Y G U L T Y B L E R And with that, Your Honor, the defense rests their case. I must say that was an unexpected turn of events. Prosecutor Payne, what happened to Sideshow Bob? Sideshow Bob has confessed to his crimes, Your Honor. He has been arrested and taken away. Hmm. I see. Well, Mr. Phoenix, right? Yes, Your Honor. You never fail to impress me. You not only managed to prove your client innocent, but also find the true culprit. I can't take all the credit, Your Honor. Sideshow Bob dug his own grave when he showed up to the courtroom all by himself. I was just able to put two and two together. Very well. I will now announce my verdict. This court find the defendant, Herschel Krustovsky, not guilty. Hey hey, Krusty is back. And with that, this court is adjourned. I, I really don't know what to say. But thank you, thanks so much Mr. Attorney. Congratulations Krusty. I knew you were innocent. Yeah, but Sideshow Bob turned out to hate me and took a man's life just to make my life hell. I still don't understand. Why would Sideshow Bob do this to me? Do you know Mr. Wright? I think I know why. What? You do. Sideshow Bob wasn't cut out for the circus business. He was miserable working there. He said so himself that he wanted to become an artist. So he wanted to quit. I guess I should have seen that coming. But for him to go so far, I feel like this is all my fault. No Krusty. This was Bob's fault and his fault alone. You are not like him Mr. Krusty. You are a good person, and you can be even better than that. You really think so? I don't think. I know you can. You're right. I'm gonna do better. Even with Sideshow Bob gone, I will make my show better than it was before. Thanks again Mr. Phoenix Wright. Until we meet again. And with that, Krusty walked out the door as a free clown. No matter the person, everyone has their own path to do better. And I know that Chief wants that for me. And that is what I'll do. 